Hi, and welcome back to the lab. In this segment, we're going to talk about using the micropipette. The micropipette is a device for measuring volume and very small volumes, much smaller than we would measure in a graduated cylinder or a volumetric flask or a beaker or anything along those lines. We have two types of micropipettes in the lab, and they're listed by the volumes that they can measure out. In this case, we have one that measures from 10 to 100 microliters, and that's for very, very small volumes. Okay? And we also have another micropipette, which measures 100 to 1,000 microliters. And they both function in the same way. What we see is the reading of the ranges, and we never want to go beyond the range of the micropipette. We have the actual volume, which is going to be dispensed. Okay? The other parts of the micropipette involve the actual plunger, which withdraws and dispenses solution. And you can also turn that plunger to change the volume. Okay, so I'm going to change it so I will read 900 microliters. But again, you can move that back and forth to get to the volume you need. And never go beyond the ranges below 100 or above 1,000 of this microliter. We also have an ejector button. So this will eject the tip of our pipette and a finger rest so we can comfortably hold the pipette in our hand. Okay? Now, we don't use the micro pipette directly in solutions. We actually put a pipette tip on it, so I'm going to do that now. We have two sizes of tips, the blue and the yellow. The blue tips are for the larger micro pipette, and this just gets pushed on by gravity. So as I push it on, I can then pull it out of the case, and we see that our uh, tip is nicely attached to the pipette, and no hands were needed to withdraw it. Okay. I'm then going to move over to my solution and push down on the plunger. Now when I push down on the plunger, it has two stops. There's the first stop where you can see there's about maybe an eighth of an inch of space. And then there's a second stop which brings it all the way down to the bottom. When we're withdrawing solution, the proper volume, that 900 microliters, is at the first stop. So I'm going to push down with my thumb to the first stop, insert it into the solution, and then slowly withdraw. We don't want to let the plunger go, we want to slowly withdraw. And that is our 1,000 microliters of solution. I'm then going to move to my container, which is going to be a test tube in this case, put it in the test tube, and eject. When I eject, I'm going to slowly push down to the plunger, and as I do that, we can see the liquid being dispensed, and then I'm at the end. Now I've reached that first stop again. I'm now going to push a little bit more, just to make sure any droplets that were left in there have been dispensed. Okay, and you should be able to see that now. I'm going to repeat it two more times, pushing down, withdrawing slowly, and dispensing, and pushing all the way down to, to push out any extra liquid. And one more time, withdraw, dispense, and push all the way down. And you can see on this white backdrop, that we have three different test tubes filled with the same height solutions. Okay, and you should take a look at your uh, solutions as you use the micro pipette to make sure they are all the correct heights, which gives you an idea about the correct volumes. When we're all done using the micro pipette and done using the solution, we can eject the tip. And again, that's another hands-free operation. So I'll go to my collection beaker, and if I push down on this orange button here, we'll hear a click as it ejects into the beaker. And we now have a clean micro pipette ready to go for the next uh, volume dispensing. And that is how you use the micro pipette in the lab.